understanding rate of change with chain rule. So rate of change means d something, let's say dy over dt. dt means about times. Time means rate. So everything regarding time, we call it as rate of change. Something of value, something of variable are affecting by the rate of change of the time here. Let's say I have y equal to this part, 2x times x, I will have 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3 and at the end I will have 2x squared minus x minus 3 over here. So you are required to find the rate of change of y means you are required to find dy dt. Always analyze the question to find what they want when x equal to 2 if the if decreasing at the rate if x is decreasing at the rate of 2 means that dx dt is decreasing with negative 2. So you are required to find dy dt use the chain rule method separate them into two and this is what you have and you have dx dt so you can apply dx over here and also dx over here so you know that your dy dx is over here so you need to find dy dx so 4x minus 1 and you also know that your x equal to 2 substitute your x equal to 2 and you have 8 minus 1 you will get 7 so dy dx is 7 times dx dt which is negative 2 it will then give you a negative 14. So this is dy dt, the rate of change of y. Same question, the area of circle is increasing. I know that the a of the a dt is round because at a constant rate. The area of circle is increasing at a constant rate. It says that the a dt is equal to 12. Find the rate of change of radius means that you are required to find dr dt. So to find dr dt, you know that the area of the circle is 64 pi. So area is 64 pi. So to find dr dt, you are required to separate dr and dt. And you are giving, given da dt over here. So you substitute da, you also have da over here. And in this case, you only know dA dt, you do not know dR dA. So what I can say is that is you know that the area of the circle is pi r squared. And in this case, you have no idea what is r. And in this part, they say that the area is 64 pi. So pi r squared equal to 64 pi. If you cut with both pi r squared equal to 64, and now you already know your r, which is a. So a equal to pi r squared. So if you differentiate this, you will have 2r pi. Differentiate according to the r, respect to the r. So you will have 2r pi. And you also know that your r is equal to 8. So substitute your 8 here and you will have 16 pi. Don't substitute your r at the beginning here because you are required to find da dr instead of the a here so to find the a dr you already know it's 16 pi dr da will be 1 over 16 pi times da dt which is 12 so if you type it you have 3 over 4 pi for your dr dt